What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to pick up where we left off, the Ottomans have intercepted my replenishment force of these two stacks into this smaller army. But by the looks of it, the actual first reinforcing stack will be this one to the rear, as it's a full stack, which is this one, which is fully full complement of troops, rather than this one, which is slightly, um, slightly attrited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up, change my uh, change my reinforcement layout so that I get a bit more. So as 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 my troops come in come into the game, um, I have more of a solid elite line, or more of a solid line, I should say. For when the uh, when the enemy does come back. I think that's good, so I'll have a nice block of infantry with artillery and more infantry coming in. Maybe, maybe a howitzer there. And the idea of these two troops is to run to wherever my reinforcing army are coming in. Fortunately though, this reinforcing army, even though it is an um, African native infantry, um, accuracy 30, range 110, they're on par with the Janissary Musketeers, the Ottoman elite infantry. They fall down a bit, in the melee, so I don't want to get into the melee, but then again my regular line infantry isn't exactly hot. Attack 6, defense 14 compared to attack 13, defense 8. Hmm. Hmm. So they might be kind of a bit more balanced than I think, because of how the attacks and defenses work out. Um, but anyway, yes, the idea would be to run these troops in to wherever this army reinforces to create a stronger line, and honestly I might want to do a bit of this jig around so that the next line of things that come in are also strong line infantry units if I need to, which I don't think I will because they have no artillery. But anyway, let's get to it. Um, I'm pretty sure I want to deploy to the right that I can so that if, well, I'm assuming my reinforcing army is going to come in from the right so I think that's where I want to be in order to not um, but still, I'd rather stack up with my buddies, so I'm pretty sure I want to be over here and the sky's bugging out again. I'm pretty sure it must just be the fog, because it's only been... No, reinforcing armies coming in from all points of the map. Okay, well... Let's manage these guys first. Before I can work out what to do with the rest of them. No, a lot of them are coming. I didn't realise they were all they'd all come in simultaneously. So just deploy my Let's shrink some units a bit so we can deploy my foot artillery. So over here, you need to be a lot more careful. So let's make these guys march more over towards me, and these guys Effectively need to form up a line here, and then maybe advance on their flank. So you're going to be that group. You are going to be this group. The cavalry can be a bit more free floating, but still, I want to be ready.
Cool. So unlimber, unlimber. <clears throat> Let's get the artillery on the go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it must just be to do with the fog, because it's only happened on foggy maps. So this is a troop unit moving up, Janissaries, so... Let's get the General's bodyguard to smash into him. No, actually hold off for now. And there's my, can my artillery fire shrapnel shot? Nope, not at the right range, so stick with round shot, target the general's bodyguard. There you go, clear him out on the general. Okay, so these four advancing troop types. You need to run up if you're going to uh, interfere with their plans. Although these are effectively armed populace with just melee weapons on the flank. Yeah. Oh wow. Full charge. You need to angle better then. As do you. Let's get you guys on guard mode. These guys should be eradicated fairly quickly. I mean, there's lots of them, but they're just a bit... They're just chaff. Get this unit of militia to come over here and support this unit of Minutemen. They're winning for now. But could do with some more support. Hand mortars? No, right, that's it. Focus fire that unit of hand mortars right now. Ooh. Get back to over here. You need to get stuck in. So I could lose this little flank just from charging militiamen, but that'll be the end of it. Let's move these guys up to fill in the gap. Let's bring up General's bodyguard. Halt. You keep firing, sorry. My guys should win, but they will be severely depleted at the end of it. Let's get back to the centre. Cast a shot into the mess. Let's 
spin the flank around. Reorientate my line. These should be okay. They do a lot of damage, but they're also very vulnerable. But there are two of them. Still going on. I think it's really. I think I just got a, a bit too aggressive maneuvering at the start. Yes, sir. These guys are firing into the backs of the. Janissary is good. I'll get back to moving again. You guys set up. You guys set up. African infantrymen are retreating, which is fair enough. Over to my militia fight. Okay, let's set you guys up to do as much firepower as you can. To provide as much firepower as you can. These are seminis, these are kind of like militia. But I've already my line of line of unit was already depleted. So these guys set up and just pour fire into the flank of that unit. Yeah, Janissary unit should lose against my native troops. Run them up along with them. Along with them. To all charge that unit. Finally losing. Fire! Yeah, fair enough for them to route. They are being engaged from lots of directions. Charge in. Oh, they are back. Getting them back into the fight. They go fighting some of my most elite troops. Bazooks. Let's get my general involved. Get those guys to storm straight on into those Bashi Bazooks. Let's get my general to come out here straight into the back of those units. Okay, 
Okay, let's pull back out. Run some of these guys over. Actually, bazooks could be a lot better than I give them credit for. Okay, let's pull these, some units away from the fight, because if I'm going to get my... Um, muskets into a position to fire into this big block of troops. Get them uphill to support this fight. While these guys open fire. At this point, I think if I, my guys will rout if I don't, even if I don't fire f for more casualties. So I think I'm better off just firing into them. Good, chase them down. Now commit my infantry. Let's get a bit more aggressive with you guys. Ooh, it's all of their regulars. I just sat there. Let's keep my infantry together. Oh, good. Everyone charge straight onto this last unit of Bashi Bazooks. Let's give me artillery to fire. Shrapnel onto them. Ooh. The Bashi Bazooks are coming back. Good. Seeing it back onto the irregulars. Just hit the general's bodyguard. I think you know some of these are still alive. Good on them. Charging. Very well. Let's turn off the artillery. Get this reinforcing cavalry that's coming in from over here. Smash into the cell these. And ours, and ours, getting smashed. Good, good, good. Firing into their in combat, but they're doing the smart move effectively. They will manage to run away until my general gets involved. Mm. 
more. Charge straight on, there's no point engaging them in in a land war, in a in a conventional fight. Just charge in, it's too many. My guys are all fragmented. So I think this is going to be almost the end. Let's just put a bit of a speedo on the timer. Definitely going to continue it because they've got some nice complete units here that have been, as yet, not very. Ooh, so I've got Mucho Cavalry. Good, let's bring you guys in. Uh, try here the Bashi Bazooks and let's trouble speed it. Because this is an army that will be running around later, um, I would like to kill as many of them as possible. <clears throat> nope, not going to get them in time, but they can go after them. Not going to get them in time. Well, there's I'll well bring them over with the rest of them and start attacking these skirmishers who are probably going to get away. Well, I don't know. Nah, that'll be good. They're going to get ridden down by my cavalry. Chop. Excellent. Whew, bit dodgy. Multi can different parts of the battlefield at once, but I think he seemed to go okay. Good. I lost a lot of men, but they lost more. So let's push them back. You ask too much. There you go. <laughs> Not much of a reinforcement though now, is it? <laughs> yeah. Set everyone to max replenish. And then let's get you guys to replenish. Good, you guys are set on recruiting, so keep recruiting more line. Good. There's the last handful of tech. Good. Right. So Bosnia. Build. Good. You're, are you being replenished? You are being replenished. Good. Let's fix the dry docks. Invest in the port. Let's. You're building walls, but let's recruit. Six units of line, two militia. And as these units start coming out, then this army will move out and start attacking Austria. Can this unit... Yeah, you can start recruiting things. Well, actually, firstly... I saw that. Good. I can attack Belgrade. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to... I couldn't... I could attack Belgrade, but I want to... Do this gently. Do this at a reasonable pace. At least get walls into Sarajevo first. College of Divinity. Let's... Mock you down because you're no, you're Protestantism. That's good. Good. But yes, build walls. Then I'm fairly sure. A bit of a frame rate drop there. Your humble servant, sir. Okay, so let's get yes. you into there. Your humble servant. You're off for a route march, so I'll let you because you're probably going somewhere important. Onward. Good. You're recruiting more troops. Let's get the navy under the sloop frolic. Nowhere safe for them really to land. If 
We'll bring them around here. Maybe they can move on to attack Belgrade. Any orders? Good. Oh, you're sure? One new infantry unit. Oh well. Move on, threaten Belgrade. Good. How things go down here? The Mamluks are coming. Damascus has walls though, so if they want to attack, which I'm. Do you know, is inclined to let them. Lots of melee infantry, but. See, I'll put this army back here as a reinforcement. And ultimately, you on? The, yep, you are on the go with another one. Good. What about Jerusalem? Yeah, I could build a reasonable army here. I think. And then let's get some. Oh, I've already got some. I'm getting cavalry. There you go. Let's do that. And then let's take. Oh nope. Let's do that. It's a very experienced navy. Yeah, the Ottomans are making a lot of money out of that trade route, so let's take this cable fleet and have them raid this trader at Trade Node. Good, knocked it down by about 7,000 a turn, which then goes to me. Excellent. Chapter school, yes. Good, good, good. Still got troops wandering around, Russian stacks wandering around in, in Europe, in France, but I'm inclined to let them because I'm about to... Wow, lots of troops on the map are starting to impact it. But yes, this army can attack Belgrade. This army will then probably be freed up to... Well, it won't need to head this direction, because these two stacks will to clear, clean up these guys and head that way. This army might then head up and attack Hungary. And this are or support an attack against um, Vienna. They'll really start putting the pressure on them because then I can also start to link up with Konigsberg, have them recruit us, have them recruit a garrison, then push east and hit Gdansk, which is recruit, making a crazy amount of money because it's exempt from tax. Oh, because they've got a university there, huh? Might try that now. Actually, let's do. Have to be a bit of a bigger garrison because it's a bit of level two fort. Prussian agent. Oh, that's me. Good, right. Let's hit end turn. Let's see what the response is to that. Oh, that's me clearing up a. Uh, I'll say clearing up. They've then decided to run away. Still, my reinforcements are moving in. Uh, no. Good. More stacks in London. It'd be interesting to see if I can start to bankrupt um, the Ottoman Empire. Oh, is that like a rebel Crimean Carnate? Yeah, it is. It's a rebel Crimean Carnate fleet. The flag's different. At least I assume. Holy moly, those are a lot of stacks. But yeah, I think the plan is to just... Um, <clears throat> to not... <clears throat> to be open to the idea of not keeping France completely clear of Prussians, but just to maintain control, roughly, over the area with enough level with enough amounts of troops so that my other efforts in the Balkans and in Eastern Prussia can start to bear fruit and I start to put some put some pressure onto the Prussians on other fronts because those are thousands of Prussian troops yeah just let them raid it I don't need that port to be honest I don't need the economics of Paris so if they want to raid me rather than give direct battle that's fine They're under more pressure than I am to uh, clear me off the continent. Enemy sails, hands on 
Oh no, you are gonna fall back. Ooh. For a second there, I thought they were gonna try and make a move on my forts. The Marathas going to be the Marathas. And that's going to be an interesting battle. <laughs> All of the stacks. Yeah, able to resolve that. Can you finally do something, Russia? You're you're about you're within spitting distance of Hanover. And it would be lovely if you captured Hanover. Although I'm gonna have to declare war on you yourself at some point as well. It's a bit unfortunate, because I'm just I'm gonna start opening up my well I'll say unfortunate. If I conquer the Middle East. Um, and kind of put a blocking force then I can really start to spill into the uh, oh Spain Spain are bringing their colonial troops back to the homeland to help defend I think, I think I've still got my stack in Panama so if Spain declares war on me then they'll just keep marching up Central America feel free to raid away Mesopotamians no way they're not Mesopotamians no. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has yet to be exploited. There you go. Have a pottery workshop. New port emerges. St Mary's in Georgia. Here, have a trade port. Enemy raids. Construction. Syria. At the ready. Okay, so let's move them up to here and then to force them south if they want to have a go and let's build a unit of Minutemen to be honest bring you east to threaten Baghdad agent detected Oof. let's let the recruitment keep cracking on god lots of lots of recruitment okay Let's get you on board the ship. Ready, well, no, actually, let's get you on board the ship. Forward. And then let's drop you. Oh, is there no one? Nowhere clear. Because I could have a clear run to Hanover. But there's no ports I can land in and instantly run through. Hmm. I think a good option is just to to land the army here and then push on for push on for Hanover next turn. And let's bring this navy back to Newcastle. Or actually, get them to Brist into the Greenwich. Sorry. Get this stack in, get them transported on to the ships to a similar sort of area. And we start to punch into central Germany. Okay, so then let's get back to the forts over here. Let's start to get these guys replenished. To be honest, I want to get oh god, get Ralph Cribb, his army, back here. Get this army that's short two units of infantry. Let's get you. Forward. Let's get you guarding the bridge. Because I don't think I can do. I don't think I can get the swap in in time without these guys twigging. 
try and assassinate that missionary. Nope. Didn't get it. But I've still infiltrated Brack Flanders. Good right. Well you can tell they're really starting to be tricky maintaining this level of uh, <laughs> this level of stacks on the map. So then this army Swing north and eradicate that stack, or that little bundle of troops. Huzzah! Huzzah! Replenish. Your humble servant. And you move over here. Sir. You move ready up. Make ready. So they can't leave here without triggering an assault against Gaylord Darrell. <laughs> Gaylord. Get this army out on the field. Let's put you in as a garrison. Ready for orders. Yes, sir. <laughs> so let's get them into the garrison. Put them here. Hmm. Right here. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.